Hey guys, it's Zach, and today I'm gonna show you how I make my YouTube thumbnails. And this is really crazy. So you just like zoom in and you just tap on your this. This will be helpful for you if you're starting your channel or you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel. It will just show you a way that you could possibly make your thumbnail. So making thumbnails probably seems like it's really simple, but it's actually a really complex process. I know you see all those other YouTubers cool thumbnails and it's just like, nobody taught me how to do this. How do I do it? So that's how I was and I had to figure everything out on my own. So the first step to making a thumbnail is selecting your picture so you can do this one of two ways you can either pick a still from your video or you can have a photo shoot and I have a photo shoot every time I do my thumbnails so basically before I start filming I just set my camera up and I just take about 30 pictures and then I decide which one I want to use after I'm done this is like so cringy like doing it on video <laughs> But you guys get the point. That's how the photo shoot process goes. So after I have my little photo shoot, I go and record my video. I do the whole thing, finish it. And then when I take my SD card out of my camera and put it into my computer, uh, all my stuff pops up there. So all my photo shoot pictures plus the actual content that I took. So I will like take what I need from there and then I will go and look through all my photos and then I will go and select the best one. All right, so now we're gonna move on to step two. And this is one of the most important parts of making your thumbnail. This is going to be editing your picture. So I got lucky and I found this app called Inlight. It's so amazing. It does everything that I need to do. And I'll show you guys how it works. So let's go on my phone. The first thing I do is go to my email because I sent the two pictures to my email from my computer. So I'm going to select them and save them. Super quick, super easy. After we do that, we go into our photos and click on them. We're gonna need to size these appropriately so that they actually fit on our YouTube thumbnail and they actually upload. This is so crazy. Like no one ever told me the correct YouTube size. I never know, like we don't learn these things. We have to figure this out on our own. So if I were to put all my text down here, edit this just how I want it to be, YouTube would tell me that this is too big and they wouldn't even let me put it on there. So I had to find out the YouTube size, the correct YouTube size to make them small enough so that they don't cut off any of the text. I found it, thank God. So you just go to crop and it is 16 by nine. No one ever told me that, trial and error got me there. We just put it where we want it. And there we go, we got that one set. <laughs> and then we just go to the next one and fit it in that 16 by nine. So these are the two photos that I thought looked pretty good. So I'm gonna use one of these. Let's jump into a light to see how we're gonna edit them. So as you can see, this is in light. These are the pictures that I just edited. So we can do a ton of stuff with them. So I want to show you guys really quickly a feature that InLight has for um, us on here. So if I have like some kind of blemish or anything, I can use it and they have a thing on here. I just go to tools and then go to heal. And this is really crazy. So you just like zoom in and you just tap on your zit or your pimple and then you're good as new. Like, look at this. You guys, come on, this is crazy. I know you guys are seeing this, like wild. Like this app can do this, it just takes off your blemishes. I don't use it much, but if you need to use it, this is gonna be an example. This is an old thumbnail I have. I have a few blemishes, but they're so small. I just don't never even mess with it, but just showing you how it works on like a practical example. I'm gonna use my face. Here we go. So we have a little blemish right here. So we're going to just go to tools again and then go to heal and I just click on it and it will auto match it for you. But you can literally like go wherever on your face to match that you can make it bigger or smaller. So it's really nice. So you just make it a nice size, put it somewhere on your face, press the check mark and boom, no blemish. So that's one of the features that this app provides that I think is really awesome. So jumping back from that, let's go to the picture that we actually were on the thumbnail. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. After looking at both of them, I like them both, but I feel like this one is just a little bit more, 
a little bit more crazy, a little bit more flavor. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So we're going to go to this one. So the first thing I always do, I go to image right here and then I go to adjust. So they have all of these pre-built features. I usually use vivid. So let's go and find it. And I'll just scroll up or down to play with the effect of Vivid. It just gives me a color pop that I love and it makes me look like I'm standing out uh, from the background. I think I'm going to go ahead and do 85% of Vivid. So that just lightens my picture and everything. Here it'll let me see if I press this little button at the bottom right here. The little uh picture in picture type thing it lets me see the difference so this was before and this was after so I use that one first the next thing I do on my pictures is I do the text so we go right to the text go to type so this video is going to be about making a thumbnail so I'm going to do making I'm gonna use all caps too but So it put it in this like weird font. <laughs> I usually like clear cut, bold, and basic fonts. Those are the ones that look the nicest to me. So I can do like making a thumbnail right there. I think I like that one. Uh, yeah, I like this one right here. Actually, I want to move the A to the top line so I can have more space. Yeah, there we go. So we have white text and a white background. We could fix this by just making the text color a different color. So I could just make it black text and do a white border around it. Or I could just do a white text and use the shadow, which I use pretty much every time. Just put it up to 100%. So it just basically gives that white a nice black outline, which I usually like those. So I can do that. So after we have our text complete, Next would be adding a photo. So we just go to tools and then mixer. This thing is really fun. So I have this YouTube icon that I put on here a little bit ago. So we'll just take that, put it right at the top right there. That I feel everything is tilted too much the same way. So we're gonna tilt it the opposite way slightly and make it kind of big. I feel like that looks pretty nice. So we'll just go and save it. After that's done, we can see what our picture looked like before and after, and it's a huge transformation. So the last thing that they have on here that is pretty cool, they have some brushes, so they have some with effects on them. So this one will give us like little circles in our thing. I've used these a few times. This one's little triangles. It'll add some random ones on there. And then they have like sparkles. You can just put some stuff on it. So if you guys want to get creative, you can use those. For this one, I don't think I need to use any of the effects, but they also have some decals. So these will just add on right to your photo. If you have some white space or an area that you just want a graphic, you can just put a graphic on it. And again, I don't think I need a graphic uh, on here, so I'm not gonna use one. I actually really like how this turned out and I think that I'm gonna keep it. So just showing you that was how we started. That's where we're at now. So now we're all done. We're going to save our photo. It says right to your camera right there. So next step is going back to where we started. We're going to go to our email make a new message just do a reply and this part is actually crucial so listen up so you just insert photo or video let's go and insert the picture that we just saved our thumbnail and when you send it it's gonna ask you small medium large or actual size make sure that you click medium I've done large I've done actual size these ones don't really work that well and YouTube usually can't upload them just because if the picture is such high quality it can't take all of the pixels in the YouTube regulated thumbnail size so I found that medium works and it's amazing it looks fine everything's good so after you do that you just save the picture to your computer you can save it to desktop you can save it to photos anywhere and you just go on YouTube upload your video and it'll have a option to replace the thumbnail replace it grab your picture get it in there and you have your thumbnail all set so that is how I personally make my thumbnails the app in light is great I got it for free during the free app of the week promotional week so look out for those if you ever see in light on there for free grab it up 
but other than that, it's $3.99. It's definitely worth the investment if you ask me. You can do a ton of stuff on the app. And I was never really told how to make a thumbnail, the apps to get, what to do, the process, all that stuff. So I just wanted to make this to get this out there to anybody that is actually looking how to make a thumbnail successfully. I hope that you guys learned something today from this video. I'll be making more how-to videos in the future, so definitely keep an eye out for those. And I'll see you guys soon.